Everything is going well. Fryer was one of three attorneys to depart Descano's office just last month, all hired by Descano. We've learned there have been at least 29 attorneys to leave since Descano took office in 2020. He blames it on typical attrition and a trend being seen countywide. But law enforcement sources say experience is going out the door. Have you heard from prosecutors you have hired who are coming to you saying that they feel untrained and unsupported? Oh, no, absolutely not. The idea that somebody would feel untrained or unsupported is not anything that, quite frankly, I've heard from anybody in this office. We obtained an email Fryer wrote in October that shows otherwise. He writes to his supervisors, I've realized that I am both incredibly overwhelmed and completely unprepared to handle 48 of the worst crimes in our society. I've realized that I have begun making numerous mistakes and missteps due to a lack of experience, specifically referring to sex crimes cases. I have reached the end of my mental rope handling this many serious sex cases with limited training and no idea how to handle them. What happened? Well, look, I can't speak to what is in his brain, but what I can tell you is that he came in as an experienced prosecutor without having spoken to him about that or, or, or seeing that email that you're referencing. Um, I really can't comment on it. You never saw this email from Nathan? What I meant is I don't have, is I don't have it in, in front of me right now. Despite that emailed plea for help, Fryer stayed on the sex crimes cases he already had. As an example, he prosecuted the case of a former Fairfax County teacher accused of carnal knowledge of a child. The defendant was found not guilty on one count. The jury was hung on two more charges. Do you understand why victims in the cases he handled may question now whether they got justice? Well, anytime a victim feels that they didn't get justice, it hurts me personally.